Hello all, welcome back to Current Affairs Hitler series. I'm Guna Madhivanan from Offices IAS Academy. Friends, in this video, we are going to discuss about startup. So what is a startup? It is a young company started by one or more entrepreneurs and they will be coming up with uh, unique products and services. Now, can this be an official definition for startup? It is very general, right? So to be recognized as a startup, by government of India, we have a proper definition. So Ministry of Commerce and Industries under which we have Department for Promotion of Industries and Internal Trade DPIIT has come up with certain conditions to be recognized as startup. See because government is coming up with a lot of uh, advantages, initiatives, financial assistance programs for developing the startups. So to avail all those benefits, we have to register, that is the startups has to register themselves with the government. So to register as a uh, startup with the government, we have some criteria, five criteria. What are those criteria that I have listed here? So first criteria will be, it should be a private company. It can be a partnership firm. Right, that is fine. It should be a private company. That is number one. Number two, their turnover, the company's turnover should be less than 100 crores in any of the previous financial year. If I'm starting a startup, I'm running a startup, I'm applying for official recognition as a startup, then my turnover, my company's turnover, it should not cross more than 100 uh, crores in the previous financial years. Another point is, my startup age should not be more than 10 years. Okay, so Guna has started a startup. It is a partnership for myself and my friends. We all started together. We came with Guna Technology Solutions, GTS. Right, my age of my startup is let's say four years. Turnover in that four years, what was our maximum turnover? 30 crores, 40 crores, then fine, I am eligible. Okay, so what are the other conditions? My startup should focus on innovating something. My startup is coming up with either a product or a service, but that should be innovative or it should be an enhancement over the existing products. Either I should come up with a new unique product or there are some products already available in the market. My contribution should be enhancing the existing product. That should be, my idea should be scalable, that should create more growth, wealth and also should create more employment opportunities. So innovative, unique, scalable, uh, more uh, employment opportunities, all these are important while defining a startup. Then finally, a startup should not be created by splitting an existing company. For example, my Guna Technology Solution. This should not be started by splitting an old company, right? Or there is an old company, that old company is reconstructed, renamed, that cannot be called a startup. Completely from the scratch, myself and my friends, from the scratch, we are starting this startup, right? This startup is coming up with innovative products. The age of the startup is let's say four, five years only. The turnover is not more than 100 crores. It is not more than 100 crores. In that case, I am eligible. My startup or our startup is eligible to get recognized as a startup from the government. So I can go for application. I can apply for the recognition. Once I get that official recognition as startup, then I can avail a lot of advantages from the government, right? Globally, globally, the startups are classified into different categories. These are not official uh, categorization. What I am showing here is not official categorization, but globally. When we say unicorn, when I say a startup is unicorn, that means that startup has a valuation of more than $1 billion. So when I refer, let's assume that Guna Technology Solution when the valuation of my company crosses $1 billion, when the valuation crosses $1 billion, then my company will be called as an unicorn. So in India, as of October 2023, we have 111 unicorn startups. So more than 1 billion, right? What is Minicorn? So those startups with valuation of more than $1 million, 
if it is more than 1 billion that is unicorn if it is more than 1 million that is minicorn now what is this sunicorn so it is when a startup has the potential to become a unicorn Gunnar Technology Solution has a potential to become a 1 billion dollar uh, company so when there is a potential to become that is called as sunicorn then decacorn or decacorn right here when the company is having a valuation of more than 10 billion 10 billion that is called as decacorn and hectocorn hectocorn need not be a startup it need not be a startup when the company is worth more than 100 billion dollars when the company is worth more than 100 billion dollars apple google right they are called as hectocorn so unicorn is the most uh, commonly used term with respect to startups but you can also know what are the meanings of uh, other terms some facts about startups in india so india has the world's third largest startup ecosystem we the startup is growing at a pace of 12 to 15 percent so we are seeing a huge explosion of startups in india so bengaluru is called as the startup capital of uh, india more than 1 lakh startups we have in that 50 percent of the startups we are able to see in the tier 2 tier 3 cities almost in 700 districts we are able to see presence of startups highest we can see in bengaluru followed by delhi and uh, mumbai right these are some facts about startups some initiatives some government initiatives regarding startups that quickly briefly we will see startup india initiative so once you are getting recognized by the government a startup so once we meet the criteria we can apply for that recognition once we get that recognition then under the startup india initiative for the startups government gives tax incentives funding mentorship under startup india seed fund scheme let's say i have an idea i have an idea i have a prototype that's all so to encourage uh, such ideas to become a startup so i have an idea only it has to become a full scale startup so for that government under this program is willing to give seed fund seed fund means see initial at the initial stage government gives funding 20 lakhs 50 lakh rupees 20 lakhs to 50 lakh rupees government will be giving to the startups under this program then fund of funds for startups so here startups will not be given directly money the venture capital funds the venture capital funds the venture capital funds they used to invest in startups venture capital funds are investment companies venture capital funds are investment companies these venture capital fund they will invest in uh, budding startups okay so government gives money to the venture capital funds these venture capital funds they will be investing in startups under the funds of funds for startups right credit guarantee fund for startups credit guarantee fund for startups under this program i am a startup i go to bank i want money loan but the bank will ask collateral i do not have a collateral so in that case government says guna you don't worry you go and borrow government says i will give security so government will take care of the security so you will be getting collateral free loans under the credit guarantee fund for startups then startup incubation and innovation centers so i am having a startup i want to improve scale up the startup during the process i find hiccups i am not able to grow faster further i need some incubator i need some mentor right so this program will be providing infrastructure mentorship support so those startups which are finding struggling in their initial stage will be getting infrastructure and mentorship and incubation support right then prism promoting innovations in individual startup and msmes so here so i want to create a new enterprise so for which i need a support on a phased manner technical guidance and mentoring will be provided for the incubators so from i have i am starting a new enterprise 
So from zero, from scratch, I'm starting a new enterprise. I need technical guidance. I need mentorship under the prism for individuals, startups, MSMEs, government is providing supports. Right, these are some initiatives briefly I have given. I have not discussed the features in detail. That is not the scope of this topic as well. Okay, so have an understanding about startup. The next topic which I am going to do will also be based on startup. Alright, so what is it? You have to wait till tomorrow. So I hope the video was useful. See you tomorrow. Till then, bye. Take care.